Hey, Harry, how you going? Yeah, good. Um, all right. You can hear and see me all good? Yeah, man. all good. All right, so, um, make a start. Uh, you want new drills this week. We'll go through a couple of the, uh, the old ones. Um, one of them, we will use like a bag or a kick target if you have that. Too easy. I'll just grab mine. Right. So. We'll just start off, we'll absolutely uh, we'll zoom through these ones just with the hip escapes. Always a good uh, movement drill to start off with. So we'll go normal hip escapes, then go forwards, sideways, and then sideways backwards. Easy, man. So we'll work through those ones. So first one, forward hip escapes. Go for So going forwards and then going back. Now going sideways forwards and then sideways back. <laughs> All right, so strength. Right, we're going to start off with just leg circles. So you're going to go, you're sitting up, lying back. You're going to go 10 in opposing directions and then back the other way. Actually, we'll do, we'll do 15 because they're, they're pretty fast. Eleven, twelve, fourteen, fifteen, and then back the other way. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Right, so. We're gonna do the, uh, the the very similar bridging drill that we've done in previous weeks, except this time we want our heels right up to our butt. We're going to bridge, turn, and reach as far as we can. Touch, bridge, turn, far as we can. Touch. So just do five each side. Do ten. Awesome. Now, next one, so we're going to be on our backs. We're going to have one leg up, right? And we're going to be bridging up single leg. It's actually pretty, pretty tricky. This one's good. Good for uh, like retaining guard. They're moving around you. you. You need to keep your leg up, keep moving. So yeah, just doing five with each leg up, hip raises.
switching at five. Awesome. Awesome work. So, right. Next one, you're going to be, you're going to be, have two hands forward, right? You're going to cross your arms and shuffle around to the other side. So, looks like this. So, your hands go on the ground, one going forward, one going uh, back like so right and you switch around to the other side and you switch around switch around switch around switch around so just do do 10 of them right so hands alternating directions switch I'll just have a look. Yeah, good. Right. So, what we're going to do, what we're going to do, we're going to do a knee cut. So, you're going to with your right leg, do the cut. So your leg curves, comes forward, right? So you're here, curl, comes forward. It, it's sort of, your knee draws a semicircle back into the center. So if my leg starts in this location, it's gonna end up forward, but in the same line. So curls, comes forward, right? Curls, comes forward. So just do five. Charles comes forward. Sorry, um, Harry, is this for a double leg or like a? Uh, it's a knee cut. So we're gonna we're going to go here. This will be the next one after this one. This will be this will be on the bag. You'll be doing the same sort of movement, but we'll just do it in the air to start off with. Ah, right, thank you. Right, so this one's just kind of working the steps. Awesome. So what I get you to do is grab your bag and um, this is for like, I'll turn my camera up a bit. Just. Right, so here, um, this is for like uh, guard passing. So you're pushing the legs off to the side and you're dropping to knee right. So your, your knee cuts around the legs, lands on the person's belly. So nearly imagine if you grab their two legs, pushing them off to the side, cutting into knee right. Now, when you go into knee right, if their, their head was here, you don't want your foot close to their head. So you move your foot out super duper wide. Your knee, you want all of your weight from your knee onto their belly. You don't, you don't want your foot on the ground or anything. So just do 10 each side. Switch sides. Awesome. Now, what we're going to do from here is you're going to be on the bag. Right, and you're going to you're going to dismount, 
So same heads here, reach over, come into side control. Now, from side control, you one hand on their shoulder, one hand on where their hip would be, you're going to push up, knee ride. Now we, we did this drill like week one, so uh, probably shouldn't need to talk you through it too much. You're just going side control, knee ride, back down to side control, back onto mount, out to the other side, right? So maybe do three each side because it uh, takes a little while. Let's work through it. If you have any questions, just unmute yourself. Let me know. Yeah, cheers, Aaron. Scroll. Scroll. All right. All right, so next one we're going to do. Next one we're going to do is just going to be, um, it's going to be a bear crawl. So our hands are going to be on the ground, right? You're not putting too much weight um, on your legs. Your legs are kind of very light. So your hands are supporting yourself. Your legs are light and you're going to crawl forward right, moving with only one leg on the ground at each time. So only one leg is on the ground. So it's like uh, you move your hands to crawl forward, your legs follow, but you only want one leg on the ground. The other leg sort of kicks out to the side. So just do a few laps of your area up and back. Just sort of be... Sort of move. Awesome. Awesome. Now, when you've done that one, next one is going to be a sprawl. Now, I want to, sorry to do this, just using a bag again for this one, because um, well, we could do it just without a bag very easily. Um, make it a bit more live. So what you can do, put your hands either side of the bag. Now, when you sprawl, right? You sprawl on your hands, right? And your hips drop, right? So you're lowering your hips to the ground. So it looks like this, you sprawl, hand, hips drop, right? But it's a quick motion. So you hip, you're shooting your legs back. Now, the bag is there to simulate someone going for a double or a single leg. They're going for your leg, you're sprawling, you're saying no, you're dropping on their back. So it's like this, one. Two, like that. That's your movement. So I want you to do 10 sprawls. Good movement for evading the double leg or the single leg, right?
How's your foot, mate? Yeah, all good. Um, right, so left to sprawl. Okay, so the next one is going to be um, we're going to be rolling out our back. So we roll up onto our back, our legs come up into the air, we go back down. Very important movement, right? If you're being stacked and for your um, just like general back and like hip flexibility, right? You want to be able to roll up onto your shoulders, especially if you're doing like, like leg entries, triangles, arm bars from guard, lots of different things. You want to be able to be comfortable sort of in this position here, right? So the first one, you're just going to roll up onto your shoulders, get up, stay up for as long as you can, drop back down, roll up, drop back down. Just do 10 of those really quickly. See how straight you can get your legs to go. Okay, very good. Now, keep it moving. The next one, this time we roll up onto our shoulders. Our legs come over our head. And what we're going to do from here is we're going to support our hips. If you're not like, if you're not super comfortable, just put your hands on your hips and just hold your legs there. Now, from here, you're just going to bring your legs down and bring them up. Down, two knees come to your head, up, down. Oh, now, if you're comfortable, you can put your hands on the ground, just working on using your legs, right? So roll back, support your hips, bring your legs down, up, down, up. Just do 10 of those. If you need to come back down, take a rest. That's all good. All right. I'll just watch you do a few of those. That's good. Very good. Right. So next one um, is going to be practicing getting our hip flexibility. We started doing this one last week. Um, so what we're going to do is we want to be trying to move along the horizontal direction, right? So I'm trying to move this way. So I shuffle my shoulders and then my hips. Shoulders, shuffle, then my hips. Now I want to go back this way, Sh hips, shoulders, hips, shoulders, right? It sort of looks like I'm like, I don't know, hula hooping or something. When I, when I do say three in a row, I want to practice pulling in sit-ups for a cross, cross collar choke. One, two, three, one, two, Awesome, keep going with that one. Right, 
Okay, so we're not going to th go through the um the full sequence that we did last week. We're just going to skip straight to the uh, the fun one, which is the the leg triangle. So we roll up on our back, right? We're going to lock our legs for a triangle, cut the angle, and put, fall off to the side, imagining that we've grabbed an arm. Now, you can do that all faster. I was just doing it slow for demos. So you roll up, lock your legs, fall off to the side. Then I go back this way, roll up, lock my legs, fall off to the side. So do just say 10 of them, alternating directions, going each way. Um, yeah, uh, making sure, yeah, that, that, that's about it. Just do, do, do 10 of them, alternating directions, rolling back. Coming down. Okay, so next one we're going to do, right, um, is from uh, uh, John Danaher's videos. So it's from his solo draw videos, but it's it's pretty good, right? It's we did it week one, so we're going to we're going to bridge, drop our leg, right? From here, we want to transfer our weight onto this leg, roll that way while going back to our knees, right? So we bridge, drop a leg, roll, right? A um, couple, of, couple of key points. You really wanna try and end up in the same spot that you are, just turned over the other way. So I don't wanna be like rolling out here, right? I wanna be rolling over on the spot. So we bridge, turn our foot, roll back to our knees. Um, well, I'm going to add in one more thing this week, though, right? So we're going to bridge, drop our leg, roll, shoot for the shoot for the single, uh, double leg, sorry, and then we're going to stand up, right, as if to play a guard pass. So it's like it's like a little sequence. So bridge, drop, roll, shoot for the double, stand up. Um, that's about it. Just to maybe six or seven of those um so bridge drop roll shoot stay back up it's all good Right, so next one we're going to do is uh, just a, a standing drill. Um, so it's like we're shooting for an ankle pick, um, but we're just doing the first half and we're getting, we're gonna get really fast. So just in your own time, do 10 of these, set up a, 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 a stance, one foot forward, one foot back. Now the hand that's the same as the back foot is just gonna go down. You're just going to touch the ground. You're just going to practice getting really springy coming up, touching down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, et cetera. Now, that's going to form your base, right? So you come down, there's your triangle base. Now, next thing that happens, this front leg comes onto the ground and my head 
I need to be a lot lower than it is right now, right? So from here, I come down, low, my hand goes to the ankle and I grab it. So that's gonna be the drill, right? It's down, two, three, back up really quick. Sort of get a little bit of cardio in the process. So it's down, two, three, back up. Now, uh, actually just do a few of those in your own time real quick. Now, I need you to um, make sure when you're doing this one, you don't want to be a triangle. You don't want to go down and forward. You want to go down and then forward, right? So my head doesn't go like this. It goes like this, right? So I'm not coming down, going down and then forward. Uh, yeah. Now, this time when you actually do a few of those, just, just working on that. All right, so this time when you do it, I want you to imagine that as you're going forward, someone's sprawling on you. So you're going to go down, forward, someone's sprawling, roll, standing back up, right? Maybe a little tricky, right? I'll do it again. So down, forward, oh no, someone's sprawling, I'm going that way, roll, back to my feet, right? So this is like our partner is doing this. They're sprawling, right? Because we're shooting for their leg. We're rolling out of the way, getting back to our feet. You really want to be getting back to your feet. You don't want to be coming here rolling and then uh, you've just failed. So we're here, down, oh no, some sprawling, back to our feet. Here. Excellent. Now, uh, I just want you to do a few of those actually. Have a crack at that. So, Let's see the setup up for forward, down. Yeah. And uh, that's that's pretty good. Just with your roll, you know, I know I was doing it a bit actually, but when you roll, I want to be going out to the side. I, or like, like diagonal, which is good. Because um, if I go out to the side, I haven't really gained anything. If I go forward, he's gonna be there. So I wanna go diagonal, right? Because then if he's dumb, I may have the opportunity to go for the back. But if he stands back up, I'm kind of like, not really behind him, but nearly behind him, which is like, it's what we want, which is good. It's, it's very important. Like if you go for a takedown, make sure you have, especially one where you're kind of giving away a lot of position, like a ankle pick or something. It's very important that you have a plan B for when they do counter it. All right, so whether that's rolling out of there or a different takedown or something, it's very important you, th you think about that. Now, got a couple more to go through. So next uh, one, once again, is a repeat, but it's, it's a very good drill, actually. So we lie out, you already know which one it is. We make the cross, we lift our legs up, and before we do the roll, we're just gonna put them back down. So we're gonna go one, down, two, do the roll over our shoulder. Roll back forward. One, two, roll over our shoulder. Roll back forward. This is very good for um, stretching out your back and uh, your hips after doing all those rolling drills where we're rolling up onto our shoulders. Um, yeah, make sure to get that. Okay, cheers. Two.
Right, and then rolling back over your shoulder. Um, okay, so um, I've got, got one more to go through. Um, and that's once again, just looking at um, our movement when standing and when sitting as well. So when we're like, right, when you're like faking up the opponent and like trying to go for takedowns and things, right, if you're like, you don't want to be standing up like this, right? It's pretty self-explanatory. You don't want to be up too tall. Um, you're on a knees bent, hips back, right? And when you move, you're moving forward, back, left, or right. You want to try generally not to cross your legs because as soon as you cross your legs, you become unstable. So unless you're doing sort of a quick movement, we try not to cross our legs. So when you're moving forward, front leg first. And then the back leg follows. When you're moving back, back leg first. Sideways, uh, the sideways leg, the, the same leg that you're moving to the side, right? So it's like that rather than this. We want to be like this, not that, right? So the drill is going to be you're going to go forward, back, left, right, and then seated, right? Combat stance. Uh, not combat stance, sorry. Just seated, one hand back, one hand forward, forward, back, left, right. So standing up, you're here, forward, back, left, right, forward, back, left, right. Right, um, I'm going to just throw in one more thing. Last drill from standing. It'll be, you move forward. Oh no, he shot a, um, he shot for your leg. Sprawl, jump back up, back. Um, shot for your leg again, sprawl, back, right? Um, when you do the second sprawl, you're gonna roll. Off it, the same sort of roll you did with the um the single leg. So it'll be forward, shot for your leg, sprawl, back, shot for your leg, sprawl, roll. Good. Back, sprawl, roll. Nice, nice. That's good. Right. So that's all I uh that's all I had planned for today. Um hope hope you got got a bit out of it. Um yeah, thanks, Harry. That was good. We're probably probably still locked down next week, but New South Wales, we're coming out on Friday, which is good. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Freedom. Even though we have like, what, like 1,500 cases or something. <laughs> Freedom, <laughs> man. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Harry. Have a good one. You too, man. Take care.